For many accident victims or stroke or heart attack patients, it's what happens before they get to the hospital that means the difference between life, death, or permanent damage. And it's the time it takes to get the patient to the emergency department that can make all the difference. I think the intensity starts to build when the initial call comes in because you're already given enough information on the radio, you kind of know what you're going to walk into, but that can change as soon as you arrive on scene. We're en route to a school bus versus semi-truck. The driver of the school bus was ejected. I've known about the driver of the truck. We didn't expect it to be this severe when we got on scene this morning. Your anxiety level goes up a little bit. You kind of just have to override that. In emergency medicine, minutes really, really matter. And being able to make decisions quickly and make the right decisions quickly is the difference between life and death. Time is so important in our job. Their survival depends on you doing the best job that you can do. And if you could save three to five minutes, you could save life. To help tip that equation in favor of survival, ambulance crews need as much medical information as they can get and as fast as they can get it. Thanks to physicians and software engineers at UPMC, that information is now as close as your cell phone. EMS professionals were all carrying smartphones with several emergency medical applications, but what they really wanted was one app that had all the features they needed in one place. The prevailing design philosophy behind this app was just keep it simple and give them the real tools that they're going to use in the field. Being part of UPMC, what we were able to do is have 25 EMS professionals here to the lab to really identify six features that they would really use in the field. The main content of the app is the Pennsylvania Department of Health state protocols for both basic life support and advanced life support. We have everything from carbon monoxide to head trauma and all cross-referenced between the protocols so that they can figure out exactly what to do in the field if they need it for reference. We also have a list of the 57 drugs that they're allowed to administer in the field. And for the drugs that have a particularly challenging dosage scenario, we have a, a calculator built in for those cases so they can figure out they are still doing the right thing for the patient. What really makes me happy is the stories from the field that we're getting from our EMS folks of this actually saving people's lives. Myself and my partner decided that he needed to go to a level one trauma center. We just hit the request a helicopter button and within seconds my phone's ringing with the doctor on the phone making the arrangements for setting up the landing zone. I have a 58 year old male patient, decreased mental status. Helicopter's three minutes out. The EMS Navigator, I think, is a wonderful app for the EMS personnel. They get on scene, determine that there is possibility they need an aircraft, they can hit a button, coordinates are already loaded, so it actually speeds up the process of having to make phone calls. And that way our communications department gets the information relatively quickly and is able to dispatch a helicopter faster. We've got medevac one in 12 minutes. Well, my job is to get that patient to the hospital just as rapidly as possible. And our helicopters not only save time by flying, but more important, our teams on the helicopter are very skilled. We are trained as critical care personnel. We are all critical care nurses and paramedics that fly here are nationally registered paramedics. We have a ER and an ICU in the back of that helicopter. We can provide the highest level of care. It's a huge team concept. I mean, you have the communication center, you have the pilot to get us safely from point A to point B. Then we have the nurse and the paramedic in the back. We work hand in hand. The EMS app helps us both out. Just knowing that you're here to help people, it's a good feeling. Before we had the EMS Navigator app to get a helicopter, I would have to get on the phone, call for the doctor, wait for the doctor to get on the phone. Then you'd have to get a hold of the 911 center. It was just not a smooth process. It was just amazing on how quick it worked. Those are the things that we like to hear are, are real cases where people are using this in the field. That's really why I work here, is to build things that actually have a direct impact on people's lives. Thanks, Casey, for sharing this story. I know this app is really making a difference on the front lines of emergency care. Thank you, Dr. White. It's a pleasure to be here. 
If you put yourself in the place of an ambulance crew just arriving at the scene of a pretty serious accident, what kind of information do those people need as they try to make a life-critical decision in real time with the equipment they have on scene? Well, the, the, the key is, is certainly access to the state protocols for review, as well as uh, tools that they're able to do, uh, for example, calculate drug dosages and look up hospitals and uh, verify their location and GPS coordinates so that way they can really make that, that connection of care very efficient. How pleased are you with the way the app is being used and received? I'm very pleased and frankly surprised at, at how successful the uptake has been of this application. Um, we're very proud of it, of course, but if you think about what our target audience is, it's EMS professionals in southwestern Pennsylvania that own a smartphone, and we have literally thousands of, of registered application users. Thank you, Casey. Thank you very much, Dr. White. I'm very happy to see that the devices we all carry with us today can be used as life-saving medical tools. And there may soon be a time when we all will have our complete medical histories available for instant download by doctors and EMTs, especially when a patient is alone and unresponsive and you don't know if there may be a pre-existing condition that's causing the problem.